Week two of the free agency event has dropped, including a new upgradable 99 overall master set player. We'll break down the sets, the master set players, and how to acquire all of the free content. Let's get into it. Let's start off by breaking down the new week two master set player items. We've got the 98 Ray Whitney, a right-handed winger. He's got accelerator boost, getting his acceleration up to 99. Unfortunately, no secondary speed increase, so that is capped at 97. It's 99 in hand stats and shooting and pretty much everything else other than face off so he's a pure winger card he does come with gold elite edges as well as snipe puck on a string backhand beauty and tape to tape gotta say pretty rough ability combination to go with the size and the fact that he is a pure winger card this would probably fall into the pure theme team player item next we've got the ever popular daniel briere 98 overall the philadelphia flyer version at 59174 he however being a little bit smaller, does have 99 skating across the board. He's got 99 shooting, hand stats, even body checking is up there at 90 overall and can increase with synergies, obviously. And he does have 99 face-offs. So just much more versatile than Ray Whitney if you were comparing the two. Does have gold wheels, along with all alone, shrug it off, make it snappy, and ankle breaker. So if you were comparing the two, just a much more impactful card, in my opinion. I think he is still going to struggle against some of the bigger cards in the game at this point, but you can't complain with essentially 99s across the board. Adam Graves gets a 98 overall for the New York Rangers. Six foot 205. He's got 97 skating across the board with accelerator boost, so that can get up to 99. No secondary skating synergy. It looks like that is a theme that they are doing. They are really milking that getting to 99 overall master set player items. Does have gold unstoppable force, big tipper, truculence, back at you, and close quarters. So a really fun card because with truculence and back at you, you can just comically hit everyone essentially. Big tipper is not very nice noticeable but if you do go for point shots four tips that can help a little bit he does have 90 face-offs and can increase a little bit with synergies but more than likely you are going to play him on the wing and again because he isn't exceptional in size it's probably more of a theme team player but the 98 alex petrangelo is not a theme team player six foot three 215 the former niagara ice dog has great size for this game also comes with accelerator boost or you could go speed boost which does unlock but kind of pointless in just a little bit so at 98 overall you will have the 97 speed 99 acceleration combo and then essentially 99 everything else comes with gold heat seeker quick pick born leader elite edges and send it heat seeker is a very fun ability in this game however if you get him all the way up to his 99 via a free agency collectible you will unlock silver shutdown which is one of the best defensive abilities in this game especially when you combine it with quick pick oh and his skating also jumps up to 99 meaning you have a 99 player across the board now nasm cat in week one is still an impactful player and card in this game at 99 overall alex petrangelo at 6'3 215 and silver shutdown is one of the more meta competitive cards that you can get so let's see how you can make this card now you will need one free agency collectible and you can earn that in the alex petrangelo objective list so you will need to make alex petrangelo's free agency item and then complete various amounts of objectives with that card and unfortunately, there is quite a few that will require you to just sit in squad battles. I talked about this before. They desperately need to find a way to allow players who play online to knock down these objectives in a much faster manner because with 30 goals required and 75 assists, you are going to have to sit there in squad battles on rookie and just fire relentlessly until you get these done as you only have one week to do so to get this free agency collectible to take your Petra Angelo from 98 to 99. Now, to to make any of the master set player items it is still the exact same as week one you will need two 96 overall free agency player items to unlock these cards and in my opinion i think this is a big downgrade in how we've created cards over the last few years i talked about this in my week one video the major issue is this trajectory path 785 overalls will give you an 88 overall free agency item just like week one trade in two of the 88 nhl free agency items and get a 90 then 390 overall free agency items plus one more 88 and an 85 and above gold player item that will net you a 96 overall free agency player choice pack you need two of those to make a master set player at 98 overall now i don't mind them changing up the formats of events i respect them for trying anything new the power up collectible system is pretty boring and there's really no way to innovate it however the major issue i have here just like i mentioned last week is that if you pull an 87 overall player item from packs or anything 
something like that. In this format, they have the exact same value as 85 overall player item. This was one of the biggest issues that killed the game and how we created content way back before NHL 22 when they switched to the power-up collectible system. I'm all for coming up with new ways to create content and build cards, but when you remove an economy, which is essentially what's happening here because you can't trade in an 86 for a discounted price or an 87 for a discounted price, you just make all of those cards above and that overall useless. Now, there are new cards that you can get via these sets, so if you are to trade in 785 and above gold player items, you will get one of these random new 88s. The new 88s are... Peter Mueller from the Florida Panthers. He's got gold, make it snappy. 89s across the board in terms of skating. Not going to be much value to if you were going to use them. Connor Sheary's Tampa Bay Lightning card. Again, if you were chasing after this, this is a pure theme team player item. Connor Clifton from the Buffalo Sabres is up next. He gets truculence, which is kind of fun, but same situation, just too low of skating. And then Jamal Mayers from the Chicago Blackhawks. Again, he does come with gold truculence as well. Now, if you are to do the 90 overall trade-in, you can get the 90. 90 Mike Commodore at 6'4", 227, but again, 89 skating. Does have gold shutdown. This would be a great November card. Carson Soucy from the Vancouver Canucks. Again, does have gold shutdown at 6'5". Brian Elliott from the St. Louis Blues at 6'2", not really viable in that. Ryan Graves from the Pittsburgh Penguins, 6'5", as well, with gold ice pack and silver shutdown. And probably the most popular one of the bunch, we've got the 90 Ryan Reeves for anyone trying to make a Toronto Maple Leafs team team, also with gold truculence. And then finally, if you were to make the 96 overall choice pack, you can choose between Brian Gianta from the Montreal Canadiens. Really tough skating considering he's 5'7", 178. Evgeny Dadnov from the Florida Panthers with gold ankle breaker. Marion Hosa from the Chicago Blackhawks, always a popular player item. Can get up to 95 speed with speed boost activated. Brutal abilities though. Ed Belfour from the Dallas Stars. Does have gold light work, but six foot. Teppo Newman from the Buffalo. Buffalo Sabres. Loved watching him when I was a kid in Southern Ontario. He was a part of that Daniel Briere and Chris Drury Buffalo Sabre era. And then finally, John Tavares. Does come with speed boost to get him up to 95 speed. Gold Snipe. Also has Shock and Awe, 1T, Born Leader, and Big Tipper. And 99 faceoffs. Again, if you are looking to build a Toronto Maple Leafs theme team. Now, just like week one, there is a free player item you can earn via Hut Moments. And that is the 96 Scott Gomez. You can start by creating creating this card by taking six shots on rookie in this very first moment that will net you the 88 overall scott gomez card here is scott gomez at 88 overall and just like the prior weeks ryan Suter, you will need four of these upgrade tokens that you can get in various ways i'll show you that in just a second at 96 overall he's got 96 skating gold puck on a string close quarters make it snappy bat beauty backhand and tape to tape honestly a pure theme team card item if you were to to build this card to use. However, if you haven't used Ryan Suter from the prior week, you can use him as well as Scott Gomez to get yourself a free master set player item as both of these count in the 96 overall free agency card trade-in. So again, completing moment one will get you that 88 overall Gomez. Moment five will get you a free agency upgrade token, which you can use to get him upgraded. You need four in total. And then finally, completing moment 10, which is only on pro difficulty, that will that you a second one getting you halfway there. Now, don't forget, if you have not done Ryan Suiters from week one, you can definitely take advantage of this. Again, it works in the exact same method as Scott Gomez. Complete the first moment, you will get the 88 Ryan Suiter. Moment five will get you an upgrade token. And then finally, moment 10 will get you a second one for Ryan Suiter. Now, the other two for Scott Gomez, you will have to complete objectives in the free agency week two event path. One will be scoring 50 goals with that Scott Gomez. Gomez card. The other will be getting 45 assists. So again, this is legitimately just going into four minute period squad battles on rookie and relentlessly firing the puck of the net with Scott Gomez until you legit can't anymore. Now, week one still has the Ryan Suter objectives in there, so make sure that if you are trying to get Petrangelo, let's say, for free or whatever master set you are seeking, Ryan Suter and Gomez can be done for free. You've just got to complete a lengthy objective path with those cards to get the required free agency upgrade tokens. It's the same for Ryan Suter, 45 assists, 50 gold. Now, by completing all of the objectives in the list, you will get a random 
of 90 overall free agency player that's untradeable. So you could make a second master set player item for free if you are still doing the week one objectives as well. And if you combine it with the new Hut Rush reward path, at the very end, you will see you will get another 90 overall free agency player at 1.5 million. This will take you a couple hours more than likely to get all the way up to 1.5 million. But remember, if you are new to Hut Rush, just do all of the objectives on Rookie against the CPU. It's the fastest way to do it and do it for all the modes first. That will give you the biggest chunk of the reward path. That is going to do it for the free agency event. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on how this event worked as opposed to the power-up collectible method for Master Set player items. We'll see what we get in the next event. I would have to assume that's more than likely a summer or year-end event, but we'll have to wait and see. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.